Here's the fact. I just don't fucking like YouTube. I mean, they want me to make a video to welcome unsubscribed visitors to my channel. I don't know how long they're going to have this feature. Since when they changed YouTube in the later portion of 2011, it looked mad different. There's Mad Gray, they, they, they changed the YouTube logo, it's never been the same. Never has. And little by little, it's looked more and more like Facebook. Of course, it's always been gradually made to look like Facebook uh, since 2008 or so. Later portion. Of course, I didn't have a Facebook then, and if I did, I didn't, it wasn't sort of, it, w it wouldn't, have had the same connection. Which is why I kind of get annoyed by that. YouTube's trying to seem it's trying to seem more like a place for you to make friends, socialize. I don't think I'm ever gonna get a booty call because of YouTube, so I see it as something that's highly redundant. Like if you're gonna go this direction at least have like a instant messaging feature. I mean, Justin TV had one for a while, where it's like someone inbox you and it's like, "Hey man, I'm... nice dick." I'm like, "All, all right, baby, let's, let's do something about that shit." But no, it's like, why make it look like Facebook more? If, if there's no booty calls involved. I mean, granted, with YouTube, you could have subscribers from all around the world, Somalia, Antarctica, you could get some aborigines from Australia that subscribe to you. You get a lot of shit, but it's so stupid. What's the point? So I'm supposed to welcome you guys? No, fuck you. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm done being mean. I'm done being mean. Because there's, there's no point in this. Right. So what kind of channel is this? Well, this is a channel where I basically talk about... politics from 2011 to 2012. It was basically about me being an anarcho-capitalist in a way. I mean, it was all over the place, maybe. All of you, but... That was generally what I was looking for. Yet, there were some sort of reactionary elements that have been taken, taking over for a while. I mean, I'm against feminism. Racially, I'm a race realist. I'm not a white nationalist, though, because white nationalists tend to be pussies. Like, they kind of made a victim ideology when they should be making somewhat of an aggressive ideology with emphasis on their theological viewpoints. I'm not talking about that neo-paganism shit. I'm talking about what actually unified Europe and caused them to become powerful in three and a half continents as Western civilization. With Eastern civilization, there's sort of an interesting thing an interesting twist to it that I think I'll eventually get to later on. Okay, I'm against feminism. I'm not an LGBT supporter, so I already know that those those guys are very, very militant when they even a more right wing LGBT niggas, you don't support gay marriage. They really freak the fuck out. Some of these guys are trolls though, they're not really like LGBT and um, even the ones that call themselves gay, I doubt that they're actually gay. But I take it more than just being against gay marriage. Like I'm against sodomy. I'm against a lot of things. I'm against that. Be open about who you are. I mean, really, you should be proud of who you are. You should be open about it. But really. This ridiculous price shit. 
it, it takes like the lowest common denominators of all of us. A lot of these lowest common denominators don't really make up a relevant portion of what we actually are. And then it brings it up, which kind of inverts everything. Since if that's a base portion of yourself and you're making it rise up, you're twisting everything. I'm going to get a lot wise because of this, and a lot of my justification, I've kind of said it again and again and again, and a lot of more militant trolls are going to resolve to snark near the end. What's more? What's more? I was always against Zionism and this gotta support Israel, the Holocaust, never forgive, never forget shit, uh, I know that the Jews run the media, they run a lot of the outlets, and their economic viewpoints are usually very, very crappy. With that being said, if you guys are still thinking of subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and not traumatized yet, which I doubt you are, um, but I don't panic about them like most people do. I don't give a fuck about the tap water. I don't give a fuck about all that shit. Since they make up the Brahmins, a portion of them. What the Brahmins are in America, they're the liberals that hate the, what I would call the Confederates, the Southerners, the Midwest guys, the small town dudes, and you know what I'm talking about. The, the rednecks, those guys. And so they do anything in their power to bring in foreigners, to make their lives hell, drive them out, and then when the foreigners come in with their militant black nationalism or Chicago, Chicano pride, they gentrify like they do with my neighborhood. And they basically come in and take over, you do stop and frisk and things like that. So you get what you came for. I myself am a Dominican, I'm a Hispanic, uh, with a lot of mestizo features. So I understand that part of me is very, very, very much foreign, although I've managed to completely assimilate culturally and held on to a viewpoint that's closer to a nationalistic pride for this place. I could give a fuck about DR. That's just how it is. And they could give a fuck about me, actually. They don't. What else? Well, I think that basically sums up a lot of my viewpoints. I mean, there's really not a lot to say. If you enjoy these rants, you enjoy my sense of humor, my ramblings, then subscribing to this channel would be advantageous. I also make a lot of wrestling videos, and I talk about a lot of entertainment-based subjects. There's not a lot that I take seriously. I'm very much... Well, well I'm always sort of pissed off, annoyed, aloof in a way, and at the same time, I could, I could make a joke. I don't see why I can't make a joke even when I'm pissed off, when there's a lot of emptiness. I mean, I can't stand the consumerism of the world. I've been saying that I mean a lot, but that's really what I fucking mean. People nowadays have nothing left, so they identify by the music that they listen to, the clothes that they wear, clothes that their parents wore, actually, sometimes. Uh, 
a lot of the modern personalities. We have a lot of modern ideologues now that they have an ideology without having an ideology, without really saying anything. Cause since everything's postmodern, and we've come to a point where meaning is obsolete, where anything really interesting is obsolete. Everything's subjective now. You can basically be militant about a viewpoint that doesn't really exist. I think Kurt Cobain was a master of this, but really his ideology was just anti vizia anti baby boomer rock. His rock and roll mentality. Which I thought was really interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, he did do a lot for this music industry, good or bad, but he really didn't have much of a viewpoint other than that. Who we'll call him deep thinker, he ain't deep for shit, he just quiet when he saw himself naked. Which there is some beauty in that, but he's a pussy. There are, I do a lot of Q and A videos, so if you want to send me a bunch of questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I have a Twitter, I have my blogger account. You can add me on Facebook and go to my Tumblr. They're all on my channel links and things like that. It's very pretty and you'll have fun if it's for you. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. I'm not going to hold it against you if you don't subscribe to me because a lot of the positions that I take, it's obvious I'm not trying to get a lot of exposure. But if I do, I don't really care. If it happens, it fucking happens. Damn, I just... just how it is. And for those of you who are subscribed to me, um, this is a good way to, for me to sum up my viewpoints. I do associate still with some ANCAP, some Libertarians, some of those guys. Oh, some of even the leftiest guys in the world, but I take everything with a grain of salt, which I think you should do for me too, since honestly, honestly, I just don't give a fucking apathy is exactly like saying um or you know to me at this point. It's filler, but if you can get past all that shit. Send me on Facebook, follow my Twitter, my Tumblr too, uh, read some of my blogs, I don't really care about followers for the blog, I'm also on the right stuff dot biz and shit like that. What do people usually ask for? Alright, so, uh, I'm from... Manhattan, New York, the uptown portion, specifically Washington Heights. I was born May 4, 95, which that really dates this video. If I just say my age right now, it's not to update it every time I get a year older and shit like that. I like listening to rock and roll, rap music. And I enjoy long walks in the beach, and I don't really, I don't really like the beach though. I fucking hate the beach. I hate the living shit out of that shit. It's just so dirty, man. Unless I like volleyball or some shit like that, but other than that, I'm just like burning my skin, doing nothing. Alright, we're getting the water every now and then. That's really what most people do on the beach. It's Mr. Wonka 7, and suck my dick. That's one of my catchphrases. You'll get that in most of my videos, so enjoy that shit. Suck this nigga's dick.